today is part two of the mini pond. We're gonna finish it today. Gotta get the wheelbarrow and get all this into. And uh, the pond is officially done. Can I ever leave right, the house? You just look up, just look up. No, I never can leave the house. Look, look up, happening. look up. All right guys, welcome back to another video here. Today is part two of the mini pond. We're gonna finish it today. Today is gonna be the final video of building the mini pond. We're gonna go to Home Depot and Lowe's, pick up a bunch of materials, rocks, plants, soil, pretty much anything you can name, and then we're gonna bring it back here and get this thing done. It's gonna be so sick. Stick along, guys. Alrighty, right over here, these are 10 bucks a piece, 10 bucks a piece. These things will live through anything, anything. Without even watering them, they'll still live. So I'm gonna grab two of these for the outsides of the ponds. And these are all the plants I'm looking for right here. Um, these guys look really nice. I think I might go over there and check those out. 15 bucks, it's not bad. These guys are sick, I might have to get one of those. Oh my God, look at that. All right, we're getting this one. That's too sick not to buy, look at that thing. If you buy one, you gotta buy two. So we're gonna buy another one. All right, those are really cool plants right there. Those ones are gonna be sick. So right now I'm planning on, we got two of those, two ones, and maybe, I think we need something bigger. All right, these ferns are only $5.99, so these things grow huge. I'm gonna grab two ferns, these guys. These are sick plants. Look at that, that is so sick. I'm gonna put one of these, like a big one of these, but. All right, I just went over there and I picked up the two big plants that are gonna be in the back of my pond. These two right here. That's gonna be my back pond plants. They're pretty solid, pretty big, and they will grow huge. So that's what we're planning on. We're gonna go check out now and see how much this is actually all worth. Honestly guys, not as bad as the price I actually thought it was gonna be. It was only $131.05, so that is how much all this costs. If anyone was wondering, we're gonna load all this up onto the back of my truck right here and then I uh, get home. I also bought I also bought this thing of garden soil because the, the soil in my backyard is like, right now, since it's so hot and it's just dirt from the ground, it's all like real soft, soft gray dirt. So it wouldn't be too good for the plants. So I got a bunch of this stuff so uh, plants will actually thrive and live. Uh, with that being said, let's get everything home. That opened the bag. Oh, damn. The back of the truck is loaded up. I'm not sure if I should lay those down. I might lay them down, I don't know, but uh, oh, watch out, Fern. Watch out. And we are officially set. Loaded the back up right here. Alrighty, I don't know how we got here, guys, but we're at Lowe's now, and uh, little waterfalls. Eight inch waterfall, 2648. We're gonna use this guy for a miniature waterfall. You'll know, understand it more when we get home, of course. Reese? Oh, and I picked up Reese, by the way, and he's got a big feeding or feeding rock for the molly pond. And then uh, replacement filter pads, 998. Grabbing one of these suckers for the mini filter so the water will stay clean. Check this out. Boo! Oh. Check this out. Not <laughs> that. <laughs> that doesn't work, not that one. Approved. Thank you, you too. We done got everything. Just throw it in the back with all the other stuff. Add into the collection. Don't crush the fern. I won't crush the fern, Paul. Now, let's officially go home. Can't you see what love Alrighty. We are at the house now. We gotta get the wheelbarrow and get all this into the backyard over there. everything we have a little bit more rocks but uh other than that we've got everything back here to finish up this little guy right here first things first to enable us to have in a little bit of extra rocks in the pond we're gonna put the feeding rock down this is what it's it's kind of just used i call it the feeding rock because we have the giant one right there but uh i'm gonna use this just kind of for a little extra rock space what we're gonna do here is just flatten this down it saved us two rocks, so those two rocks can now be used for the, the waterfall that we're going to install right now. This is this waterfall we just bought at Lowe's, as you guys saw. We're going to install this right here. 
just like that, but in the ground a little bit more so that when the water comes over, what we will do is put this, the hose that releases the water after being filtrated, into here. That'll then push the water over there. We got a mini waterfall. We're making a, making a little hole so that when we put this in right here, it'll be a little closer to the water. We're gonna have this. I might just cut it, like right here. Just cut this right here. We just cut the pipe a little bit shorter. Uh, and now this can just go straight in from right here, just like that. And that'll fill up and then pour out of there, right there. So right now, we're just gonna add the rocks that we have to go over that. Make it look a little, make it look a little bit nicer than it already is. All right, currently all set with the waterfall here. I've got a little rock to finish off the top of it right there, just like that. And now the whole entire thing is covered. Of course, we'll have some more rocks built up over here eventually. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna put these little rocks in the bottom and around the sides here, and the pond should be done. Alrighty, so now what we're gonna do is get the soil out right there and uh, the few plants and plant what we need plant-wise, and then we'll put the little rocks. Alrighty, I'm gonna start off with these big ones, with these big ones right here, and put those into the back corners inside the two sides right over there. Opening the garden soil now. I don't care how much of this gets in the yard, it only needs grass anyway, but a uh, pad around the edges right here with the soil so that this plant thrives in here. Grab a little bit more and do the same exact thing on both sides. Number one plant is set to go. Oh yeah, dude, I cannot wait to put the little rocks around it. Don't you think? Yeah. Oh, going in. I'm really wondering where this sprinkler line is right here. Cause I haven't hit it yet. Popped out of there, and we're gonna give you guys a little far view now that you can see. Is uh, we got four plants in, the waterfall's done, and now we're gonna move on to the last four ferns that we have. We got the plants lined out where we want them. We're gonna dig these up right now and put them on in with the soil. Oh, awesome. All right, if we've got the rocks right here, we're gonna start putting them around the edges. It literally makes it look like 50 times better. It has become dark and uh, the pond is officially done. You're gonna put some dechlorinator in there so fish are ready to go and do a pH test real quick. Guys and girls, this is probably one of the sickest things I've ever built. That's that's a really cool pond. Just right sitting in a corner like that, real small. And then you switch over onto here. And look how freaking big this one is. The backyard is sick. This pond is probably like 100 gallons if I had to estimate. So I'm gonna put about 150 gallons worth of dechlorinator in here. I always kind of just guesstimate We'll give that a little bit of time to set. Although chlorine killer does kill the chlorine instantly, I can put fish in right now if I wanted to. We're gonna do the pH test. Three drops of the solution fluid into the tube. One, two, three. That's all set, you can see it sink in there. It's gonna be like a seven six. Give this about five minutes, and then we'll come back and check it. And uh, just about last but not least, we have these uh, filter cartridges we're gonna put into there, the replaceable pads. I'm gonna just pop this bag open, things just like that. This is gonna, gonna filter the pond so it stays clear. Right now it's kinda mucky because we've been through rocks and other things, but uh, once these go in, it'll be clear. Unsuction cup. Squeeze these puppies on in there. Now that those are both inside the filter, your suction cup, just like that. Twist this back on, turn on your filter, and your water will be clear within the next few hours. Now also, I wanna put one live plant. This plant always seems to go like this. Over like a day, it'll be leaning like that. 
It just doesn't fit where I have it. It, would, it looks cool right here, but I'm gonna, there's so much live plants in this pond already. I'm going to bring this guy over to that pond where I made that ledge in the last video. These are all rocks to keep this one plant sitting right here. Look at that thing. Alright, so all we do is move this one over. Still looks completely filled. We're going to bring all these rocks over to the next pond. And put that new plant in there. Alright, so this is this is where the ledge is. So if I just put it in without the, without the rocks on it, that's how far down the ledge is. So it is perfect. What I'm going to do now is uh, grab the big rock, lay it right on top of the root that goes to the side. And grab this rock and put this to that side. And pretty much build up around that stem to where it sits straight up. We are done. That was just a little add-on. I know we did a little montage of when it was really done, but now it is really done. So here's another montage. Can I ever leave right, the house? Just look up. Just look up. Oh, I never can leave the house. Look, look up. Happening. Look up. Looks beautiful. Oh, you said the towels. You had to leave the towels. Yeah, you always I have to I, find I, the negative. People. I know. Every time. <laughs> look at the waterfall. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the conch shell. The conch shell. Yeah, I made that one for you. Oh, no, I brought that plant over here. Beautiful. Doesn't it look good? I was scared. I gotta tell you the truth. You were scared? <laughs> no, honestly, sure I made a giant happen. bridge. Look, see, it's, it's right there. Uh, that's what I was thinking. You're gonna make me walk into something. Oh, it's so. I mean, this is. It looks like a professional landscaper did it. Right, that's me. I'm professional. <laughs> that's gonna close off this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button. You don't wanna miss out. There's so much going on out here at the backyard. If you guys haven't copped your merch already, check it out. Hulkaferro.bigcartel.com. First link in the description. Be sure to check that out. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Back again like I never left. Young Sin, I said that's to the death. We turned up till we go deaf. Rep, rap, pass to my last breath. I cut records like Kid Cudi. Day and night, that's all the time. From the underground to the mainstream. My same team get all the shine. They wanna be, but I never knew. I just keep the peace and get revenue. Stay true, they never do. Cut all ties, I sever. These rappers like women, that's all for they peel. We keeping it real, but they flow as a regular. Grab the mic and I'm a on the regular. Why these bitches hit me up on my cellular?